All right, hey guys, we're here with Linda McCarthy. She is with the uh, Missoula Downtown Partnership. Downtown Missoula Partnership, yes. Yep. And you're here to talk a little bit more about Out to Lunch and Downtown Tonight, which right. is back, baby. It's yeah, back. yeah. So we're very excited to bring back the beloved Out to Lunch Summer Series, which has been happening in Missoula since 1986. Mm. Um, and of course, we modeled that program and created the Downtown Tonight Summer Series in 2001. Um, so we've had over 20 years of that program as well. These are our weekly admission-free and accessible for all events that we do in Karis Park. Wednesdays from 11 to 2, Thursdays from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. We do them in June, July, and August. Generally, they are uh, created to bring people to our community downtown and bring them together. Um, we always have live music and lots of food vendors. Normally we have children's activities, but this year we put a pause on those. You know, it was kind of a hard year for planning with the pandemic. Are we on, are we off? Do we have to modify or not? So we rolled out the first week of June, which everybody was very excited about. We had very good weather and very good attendance. You know, and we typically will have um, somewhere between 2,000 and 3,500 people per event, depending upon how good the weather is, whether school's in session or not. Um, and, and it's really great because we'll bring thousands of people to downtown. Um, people get to see each other. I've seen so much hugging over the course of the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and this has been a perfect example of just how basically to tell everyone that Missoula's back. Yeah, Like yeah. our gatherings, going out on, on the town at nights. It's just like the perfect it's time. It's kind of been a little crazy downtown. I don't know if you've been out on yes. a Friday or Saturday, but people are consuming downtown. The markets are back. And all even the, even some of the uh, stores that are just kind of like hidden, like some of the new ones that's popped up that I never heard of. Like I went in there and they're packed. Yeah, yeah it's, lots it's of restaurants crazy. doing very well right now. You know, everybody's kind of in that recovery mode. And we actually had 20 new businesses open last year. Yeah, I heard that there is a kind of a huge renaissance of food trucks, yeah. which is what is very uh, a big staple of Out to Lunch and Downtown yeah. Tonight. So for people watching, what are the difference between uh, Downtown Tonight yeah. and Out to Lunch? So Out to Lunch is happening during the middle of the day, middle of the week, during lunch hour, so 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, oftentimes we see people coming from their downtown offices, lots of folks on vacation, um, very popular with our senior population, um, kids in camps, um, and it's it's a lunch hour, so the weather's warmer, the sun is sunnier, um, middle of the day, middle of the week kind of thing. Downtown tonight is a little bit more casual and raucous, um, so it's an after work summer series. People typically go home, get their summer clothes on, grab their bikes, their kids, come back downtown. Uh, similar in terms of vending and live music, what's different is we offer adult beverages. So we have Badlander catering, beer, wine, and liquor at the event, so people can have a drink and sit in the park. Um, again, we're not doing kids' activities this year. We'll bring them back next yep. year. A lot of times kids' activities are very hands-on. Mm -hmm. And so... Interactive, you know, face-to-face. -face. Yep. So we wanted to be you a little You want to just be a little bit safer. Cautious, oh, yeah. yeah. And, and there's been so many new food vendors and food trucks yes. so you know it used to be they were all vendors with the pop-up tents and the you know the the heat warming dishes mm -hmm. and and we've had a lot of people turn to entrepreneurship and open their own food truck with the idea that they're gonna run the food truck yep. full time and some uh, even uh, some restaurants have actually scaled back to do the food truck and a lot of the services, I, I like. I'm sure you read the story about the one in Kalispell that was a restaurant, and they just couldn't open because yeah. it was so small inside. Yeah. But their food truck saw a relative amount of success, so I'll, it's always like a good option to kind of bring the food to certain to areas. The people, and there's right? so many good places. Like I, I can't name them all, <laughs> but there's neither. been a, yeah. And I don't want to. I don't want to give them any kind of uh, we. But <laughs> edge. it's really fun to see the new creative food that's coming out. So like we had that happen here, the empanada joint. Yep. So she closed at the beginning of the pandemic, and then she invested in a truck, and now she's out doing empanadas all over town, yep. and I think doing very well. Mm -hmm. And and then we have a lot of food trucks that are partnering with breweries, you know, and, and doing the brewery thing. I, I think overall in Missoula, we have close to 40 food trucks. We don't have that many at our programming. We yep. only have about 
15 or so. And one of my favorite, uh, there's a beer, kind of like a beer truck, and they uh, changed it from an old ambulance into like a, kind of like a kegerator. Oh, I haven't seen yeah. that one That's yet. really cool. I've seen those at, um, I think that was, I've seen that at least once or twice at the downtown tonight oh, before. Oh, wow, that's great. So lots of cool food vendors, different kinds of food too. So, you know, you've got your ice cream and mountain berry bowls and, you know, of course, El Cazador and Paddy Wagon, but... You know, we have some new Arabian food, mm. and we have a new um, a new vendor that's aged called AJ's that's doing um, vegetarian food wow. and um, gluten free food. Um, we so we have a we have somebody else called Bon that's doing some new uh, Asian food. I haven't tried it yet. Mm. I always There's try. There's so it. many things. Yeah, out there. so many wonderful things to try. Um, if you don't, uh, you know, every week. Every single week, yep. Wednesdays until I believe uh, two Wednesdays, eleven to two through August. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, kind of like Labor Day is like the the weekend where everything yeah. just kind of. So at the end of the summer, we do River City Roots Festival. Right. You know, food and music and art in the streets, and and so we end our out to lunch and downtown tonight programming, the last Wednesday and Thursday of August. Kids are back in school. Camps and fall sports are doing their thing. So, yes. it's true summer programming. Um, and it's really great because um, we see people of all ages and all abilities. Um, and Karis Park is very easy to access. We have both Mountain Line um, running the trolley on oh, um, out to lunch nice. um, days. And then, you know, Mountain Line is available also through the evenings. And then we also have U Dash at the University of Montana running on Wednesdays. And anybody can catch the U Dash bus. You don't have to be a UM student or faculty member. Cool. And what are the, uh, some of the uh, restrictions with COVID and everything? Do you have any, any of that? So what we really want is for people to be distanced from people they don't house with. Right. Um, we started out wanting people to wear masks under the pavilion, but that's not working out the way we'd hoped. You know, they've peeled back the mask mandate, and, you know, the new CDC guidelines say if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. It is an outdoor venue, so that makes it nice. We have spread out seating throughout the area instead of running that, you know, single line seating down underneath the pavilion. And I do know for a fact, um, for COVID restrictions, if you are taking any of those buses, TSA, federal government guidelines do require a mask, mask, at least until September 13th. Good reminder. Thank you very yeah. much. Yes. And, and then when you come for downtown tonight, of course, if you're going to have an adult beverage, we want you to buy a wristband. So we know you've been ID'd. And, um, and I think it's like, isn't it like a three token $1 deal? $1 for a wristband. No tokens for downtown tonight. Three tokens for Roots Fest. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we do have other events happening in Karis Park, like Margarita Fest and Maverick Brew Fest in oh, September yeah. and German Fest. You got all the in fests. The you got all those fests coming. Not as Missoula. many as normally. Yeah. You know, we, we it's, it's been really great um, downtown coming back to life. Yeah. And, and people have been really looking at what are we doing? Because if you can do it safely, I can do it safely. Um, and while we only have about 50% of the events that we normally have in, in, a, in a given year in Karis Park, um, there are going to be lots of fun things for people to do this summer. That's wonderful. Well, thanks, Linda. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming down here. And if you want more information, you can go to their website at... MissoulaDowntown.com or follow Missoula Downtown on Facebook or Instagram. We're posting weekly about what's coming up. Live music every week. Um, local musicians... Starting small, single duo kind of performers early nice. on, and then growing to be more bigger bands towards the end of the summer. Um, and it's been really great to see people coming back to downtown and supporting our locally owned businesses and our food trucks and watching people surf the wave and hike the riverfront trail. We're very blessed to live in Missoula, Montana. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you.